Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Diamonds. The most common question I get is how to quickly get a six pack. I searched this on YouTube to see what the best answer was out there. And this video pops up. 141 million people watch this. I've done this year after year and improved upon my research and knowledge, lost fat and gained muscle at an improved rate every year. And I'll give you the honest information you need. Before we dive in, do me a favor and gently hit the like button. This should be the video to help anyone searching for this kind of information. If you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell. How to quickly get a six pack. The quickest fix is a medical procedure called liposuction at the cost of $3,500 with many health implications. Over 400,000 procedures are performed in the U S alone. The next option, and in my opinion, the best option requires consistency, your hard work and dedication. Watch this video till the end, and it will give you everything you need to successfully achieve your fat loss goal. Before starting the gym or even knowing anything about the diet, I believed I didn't have a six pack. The truth is we all have one, also known as your rectus abdominis. If you're watching this video, you fall in either one of these three problem scenarios. Scenario one, you have a poorly developed six pack. Scenario two, you have a high body fat percentage and you can't see them. Scenario three, you're both at a high body fat percentage and have a poorly developed six pack. In this video, we'll focus on scenario one because you don't have well-developed muscle tissue on your abs. Even at a lower body fat percentage, you can barely see them and they just don't pop. Maybe under the right lighting conditions, there's some hope for them. The long-term approach to having an amazing six pack is to develop them, progressively overload them like you would your chest or biceps. The more muscle tissue you have on your abs, the more you'll be able to see them at a higher body fat percentage. This is why I tend to still have my abs even at a higher than usual body fat percentage. To determine the three best ab exercise for the complete six pack, we use exercises that promote a greater recruitment of muscle fibers. The electromyographic activity analysis allows us to expose the quality of the exercises proposed and to consequently choose and order the exercises properly in a training session. Exercise one, the six pack. In 1996, Axler and McGill conducted a study in which a large number of abdominal exercises were analyzed. The exercises with spine flexion were found to cause the highest ratio of abdominal recruitment. The EMG data from bulk burns and buskies showed that the crunch has the most activity in the abs. Like any body part for growth, progressive overload is necessary, and therefore the absolute best workout is a cable crunch. I recommend a rep range of 10 to 15 reps, doing them at least four sets with 20 second rest between the exercise. How to do it? One, hips. Hips need to be kept high and locked in place throughout the entire set to avoid using the hip flexors and allow a full range of motion. Dropping the hips too low won't allow you to do a full crunch. Moving the hips during the reps means you're using your body weight and hip flexors to do the movement. Keep those hips high and still so the movement comes only from the spine. Two, the hand position. Hand position also determines the range of motion and the lever length used to perform the exercise. A rope attachment works the best. I picture my elbows are wielded to my head. Tuck your chin into your chest about two inches apart and maintain this position to stabilize your neck. Doing this not only gets your hands and arms out of the way for the crunch, but it extends the lever length and allows you to get more stimulation with less weight. Three, range of motion. With an ab crunch, focus on getting a deep contraction, as much flexion in the spine as possible. The setup is crucial. We want the spine to get at least neutral at the top and a full flexion at the bottom while maintaining control throughout. Exercise two. The lower abs done properly, hanging leg raises are the king of all ab exercises, in my opinion. The EMG data from Bork, Burns and Buskies shows that the hanging leg raise is the most effective exercise for the lower abs at obtaining well-developed ones too. The abdominal musculature contracts concentrically initially as the hip flexes, the pelvis rotates posteriorly and the lumbar spine is flattened and moves towards the lumbar flexion. As the knees are lowered and the hips are extended, the reverse movements occur and the abdominal musculature contracts eccentrically to control the rate of return to the starting position. Basically the reverse of what a crunch is doing. How to perform this exercise. Hang from a pull-up bar with an overhand grip and your hands about shoulder width apart. 
Flex your hips and bend your knees, holding them above your hips in front of your torso. Now roll your torso upwards, bringing the knees towards your chin. Slowly reverse this motion without allowing your knees to become untucked from your body. Don't lose momentum. The way these exercises are usually performed with your hanging leg raised down and flexing at your hips. It is primarily a hip flexion exercise. Tuck your pelvis and you'll target the abs much better. Exercise three, obliques. Abdominal muscle training. The oblique abdominals work harder in twisting actions. The external obliques rotating the trunk to the opposite side while the internal oblique rotates to the same side. Thus, in right trunk rotation, the right internal and left external obliques are active. BMG data from Borg, Burns and Buskies also goes to show that even in the case of the rectus abdominis and the external and internal oblique muscles, true isolation is impossible. Every time you engage in any type of core exercise, both the central as well as the lateral stabilizers, or in other words, the abs and the obliques will be working. That being said, my all time favorite oblique exercise, as I believe it completes that aesthetic look, includes one that provides lateral flexion and trunk rotation, the cable wood chopper. How to do it. Connect a standard handle to the tower and move the cable to the highest pulley position. With your side to the cable, grab the handle with one hand and step away from the tower. You should be approximately arm's length away from the pulley with the tension of the weight on the cable. Your outstretched arm should be aligned with the cable. With your feet positioned shoulder width apart, reach the upward with the other hand and grab the handle with both hands. With your feet positioned shoulder width apart, reach upward with your other hand and grab the handle with both hands. Your arm should be still fully extended. In one motion, pull the handle down and across your body to the front knee while rotating your torso. Keep your back and arm straight and your core tight while you pivot your back foot and bend your knees to get a full range of motion. Maintaining your stance and straight arms, return to neutral position in a slow controlled manner and repeat till failure. I hope that was really helpful. And as I promised in the previous video, I am picking 10 people to win this 45 page PDF A to Z everything you need for your transformation and here as you're seeing on the screen is the 10 winners. I'm going to be picking another 10 people again in this video using the random comment picker so everyone has an equal chance. All you need to do is comment down below which scenario you fall into, scenario 1, 2 or 3 and if you have questions as well you can ask me why like the video and be subscribed for you to stand a chance to win this ebook. I promise you, if you need help of starting to get off with your transformation, this ebook is perfect. However, if you need more specialized help, you want me, Dr. Mike, to help you take you from point A to point Z, you're at a point where, hey, I need to make this happen. There's a link down below, an application for my coaching. I am taking on a few people. However, the spots are limited. So go through the application and you'll be hearing from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. And if you have questions in general, I'm here to help you. I try my level best to be a coach even outside of what I do on the side. So let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.